hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's tutorial we'll be making this one shoulder cowl neck gown which a lot of you has been asking for so if it's something you're interested in then let's get started since i did not record the first one for this tutorial i made this short version shorter version because i don't have enough fabric so if you're making yours make sure yours is longer like the first one i have dropped out a pattern for my gown all i did was to add three inches to hold my measurement before dividing it by four i did this because i will not be adding zipper to this gown so i've dropped out the front and the back pattern i also went ahead to label the pattern fw fw means front wrong side and bw that is back wrong side so what i'm going to do is to place it on each other making sure the right sides of the front and back are facing each other before i start cutting i'm doing this because it is an asymmetric gown like it has one shoulder that's why i'm cutting it like this ensure you cut it like this or else you have two long fabric initially the length of the original gown was about 58 inches but for this tutorial because i don't have enough fabric i'm making it a short one but you can go ahead and make yours the long form so what i'm trying to do is to get that curve for the gown i'm just going to place my curve rule a little bit above my hip line like maybe six inches above my hip line because this is just for this tutorial but when you're making yours go down by um 36 inches minus allowance so you can just add allowance to it to make it 37 so your curve should start around 37 inches so you just have to draw it as i'm doing in the video too to the end of the gown on the other side i'll go ahead to use a marker to make it obvious for you guys after i'm done with that i'll go ahead and cut it off We will be working on the front piece first because this dress has one shoulder i'm going to get half of my armhole measurement on one side i'm going to mark it then i'm going to connect it to the neckline note that the shorter part of the dress is the one that has a complete shoulder and the one with the easy half armhole is one that has the long part by the side once i'm done with that i'm going to cut it out after cutting it out, I'm going to fold it, then I'm going to draw a straight line on my chest line. After that, I'm going to cut it out, but I'm not going to cut it out entirely. After that, I'll open it up again, then I'm going to cut out the mid part, the middle part, I'm going to cut it out, I'll cut it off entirely. All you have to do is to open it up and measure how deep you want your cow neck to be. You can also place a, another pattern paper underneath this pattern and draft out the facing together with the clothes so that you won't have to attach the facing differently. All you have to do is to slash and open the cut part. For this, I used about four and a half for the opening of that part you can use about six to seven inches if you want more cleavage like you want your cleavage to show but i think this works for me so when i had to pin it down i did the same for the second one i measured four and a half then i pinned it down too once i'm done pinning i will draw my slant line it was after i was done filming this i noticed that the chalk i used was not showing so just make sure your lines are slant and they connect to the neckline and the shoulder line over there. The next step is to cut out my fabric. When cutting this, make sure you notch your ham hole so that you know the exact place where your ham hole is. Thank you. 
we will be working on the back next remember the short part of this dress is the one with the full shoulder is one with the one shoulder while the other one is like the half shoulder when drafting the back and we're just going to form that shoulder with the short parts i'm going to draw it a slant line straight down to the end of to the end of the other ham hole i'm going to cut it out once i'm done with that I cut the back in such a way that the fabric was on the right side. The right side of the fabric was facing up, while for the pattern, the wrong side was facing the right side of the fabric. Like the pattern, the right side of the pattern is also facing up. So I placed my I placed my front piece to double check. So you can do this to double check yours too, so that you don't make any mistake. After confirming that this is right, I went ahead to cut out my fabric. I also cut out facing for both the front and the back. All you have to do is to place your fabric on an extra extra piece of fabric then cut it out make sure to extend the facing about three to four inches below the ham hole once i'm done with all the cutting i'm going to start with the sewing aspect so i'm going to join the shoulder of the facings together and i'll go ahead and stitch it up i'll be doing the same for the front and back piece i'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder together After stitching both the facing and the dress, I'm going to place them on top of each other, ensuring the right side are facing each other. Then I'm going to stitch along the necklines. I'll stitch along the neck necklines first. Remember to top stitch the neckline when you're done sewing it. This is what it looks like after sewing it. The next I'm going to do is is to stitch the shoulders together so i'm going to place it on top of each other right side to right side then trim the facing a little bit so that is one centimeter lesser than the actual dress so i'm going to trim it off by one centimeter the reason for this is because we don't want the facing to be showing on the ham hole we don't want that I will also do the same for the other ham hole, cut it by one centimeter and stitch them up. After sewing it, you just have to pull it out from the ham hole. We will be joining the side seams together. We will be sewing the facing and the top differently. So I'm, do, I'm just going to join it by the ham hole and pin it. Then I'm going to sew the facing straight down to the main dress. I'm going to do the same for the other side too. Once I'm done with the side seam, I also stitch the hem of my facing and the hem of my cow neck dress. So we're basically done with this dress. The next thing to do is to attach our bead on the dress. To attach my bead, I'll be passing my needle through the pointed part of the ham hole, the half one. So since we took off the entire back, that's about seven inches and half of the front, that's about three and a half. So that makes it 11 and a half. So your string can be 11 and a half, but I made mine about 13 inches whatever you're comfortable with and when you wear it before you attach it to the back of the of your dress 
make sure you wait and see that you are comfortable with the string and it does not come off so i ended up making it 11 inches sorry i ended up making it 13 inches not 11 inches as you saw in this video so once i'm done with that i'm going to attach it to the back of the dress don't make it as close as you can see here just make it like maybe three inches after the ham hole or four inches after the ham hole then attach it to the back and stitch it up then we are basically done with this dress thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye for now